Okay, kamusta na kayo? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, it's been a while. It's been over two weeks uh, since my last upload. So, sobrang happy ako na uh, I'm still here at pwede ko kwento sa inyo kung ano yung pinagdaanan ko. So, to make a long story short, uh, I contracted COVID. So, ang nangyari, I went to a lunch, uh, I put down my mask, and yun talaga yung kaisa-isang instance na nakita ko na potentially uh, pwede ako mahawaan. So, yun, I, I got the virus, tapos unfortunately, uh, nahawaan ko din si Mises. And that's one of the most terrifying things actually about the virus, is that hindi lang ikaw yung pwedeng mahawaan, kasi kung makuha mo, syempre matatakot ka para sa sarili mo. Pero once may nahawaan kang iba, apart from the, you know, the fear, nandun din yung guilt. Parang, ah, may nahawaan ako iba. So, so, so sobrang nakakatakot talaga siya. So, what was COVID like for me? Uh, well, my case, I think, is like mild to moderate. Uh, meron akong vaccine. Uh, fortunately, kasi napakadami kong comorbidities. So, because of the vaccine, kahit yung doktor namin sinasabi, it played a big part why our COVID wasn't as bad. Um, why it wasn't as as horrible as it could have been. So, maraming salamat na nakapag-vaccinate kami ni Mrs. Maraming nagsasabi na hindi naman ganun kasakit sa ulo si COVID. I mean, hindi siya ganun kasama, lalo na if your case is mild or parang trangkaso lang siya. Um, hindi siya parang trangkaso eh. Kasi, for my experience, para siyang mutant na nabubuhay sa katawan mo, para siya na nag-mutate over time. And it comes in waves. So, for example, yung unang araw sa akin, cough. Sobrang dry cough. Yung talagang masakit na cough na nararamdaman mo sa chest tsaka sa likod mo. Tapos the next day, sobra na akong inaantok at sobra akong pagod at may body pains. Tapos nun, the next day, nagmutate na naman siya, meron ng sobrang taas na fever. Tapos the next day, nagmutate na naman siya, wala na akong pangamoy tsaka medyo dulled na yung panglasa ko. Tapos the next day, nagmutate na naman siya. Meron naman akong, uh, ano ba nangyari, chills. Yun yung malala, yung chills sa gabi. Kahit patay yung aircon, kahit patay yung electric fan, sobra kang lalamigay na talagang nanginginig yung buong katawan mo. Ganon siya kalala. So, every day, <laughs> nag-mutate siya. Meron pa nga phrase na medyo pneumonia-like, na talagang grabe yung phlegm, uh, grabe yung sakit ng pag-cough, yung, pag yung hirap ng paghinga. Uh, fortunately, uh, 98% yung, yung blood oxygen namin consistent. So, thank God for that. So, medyo hindi na namin talaga kinailangan umalis ng bahay. So, we, we actually did uh, home treatment and home quarantine, uh, courtesy of the Medical City and, of course, Health Link. So, maraming salamat to Doc Jax and to Doc Luke. Uh, napakalaking tulong nila apart, of course, from the medical advice that they gave. Yung emotional support uh, that they were giving throughout the ordeal was just something really, really appreciated. So, maraming salamat, Doc Jax at Doc Luke. Si Doc Luke nakakatawa, nag-bonding pa kami kasi mahilig din siya sa relos, mahilig din siya sa furniture. So, in several of our video calls na, na mag-check up kami on, on, on me, magkukintuhan kami tungkol sa mga paborito namin bagay. So, sobrang nakakatawa. So, Doc Luke, I look forward to to having lunch with you when all of this is over. So, yung pinaka-worst thing na dinaanan ko throughout this ordeal, uh, and papakita ko na lang sa inyo yung video clip, is that Nung nasa CR ako one time, sobrang, as in talagang nawalan na lang ako ng malay. Para nasimulang nahirapan ako huminga, para nahirapan ako kumuha ng oxygen, and I literally just blacked out. And thank God na yung ulo ko hindi tumama sa kahit anong matigas na bagay. Be it yung toilet, yung pader, or yung ledge uh, kung nasan yung sink. Uh, pero yung katawan ko, tumama dun sa glass cabinet underneath the sink. Wasak. Siyempre, hindi kakayanin na kahit anong glass cabinet ang full weight ng katawan ko na free falling, di ba? So, basag-basag siya. As in, wasak talaga. Fortunately, meron lang ako konting gas-gas nung nangyari yun. And again, hindi tumama yung ulo ko sa kahit ano. Siguro na nag-overtime yung ano ko doon, guardian angel. Siguro sinalo niya ako. Yun nga lang, hindi niya kinaya yung buong katawan. Pero at least naligtas niya yung ulo ko, di ba? So, so, yun. Grabe talaga. Yun, yun din yung time na yung Yung doktor namin sobrang alarm na eh, na parang oh, mahirap daw mag-isa. So yun, nagsama na kami, since pareho naman kami COVID ni Mises, after that uh, occasion, or occasion, after that instance, nagsama na kami. I think I'm on day 18 or 19 already, uh, and I've been tagged as recovered. My wife is also on her way to full recovery, so thank God for that. Um, and ano ba yung lessons learned throughout this ordeal? So meron ako a few. Um, yung pinaka-importante siguro is one, don't let your guard down. Lalo na even if you got your vaccine. Kasi the Delta variant is just really something else. And there are instances like us na may breakthrough, um, breakthrough infection. But sobrang importante pa rin yung vaccine. Kasi nga, it's not naman talaga, the role of the vaccine is not for you to, 
to not get COVID. Pero okay kung talaga hindi lumusot, no? Pero yung pinaka-value niya is if you do get COVID like us, hindi siya severe. Hindi yung kailangan ka magpa-hospitalize at magpa-intubate. Despite our comorbidities, despite the damage in my lungs from before, hindi namin kinailangan uh, pumunta sa hospital, magpa-check-in at magpa-intubate. Don't let your guard down. Get the vaccine. Uh, always mask up. If you will take your mask down, um, wag. <laughs> Kasi that's an opening talaga na pwede pasukan ka ng, ng COVID, lalo na ng Delta. So, always keep your mask on. Um, uh, don't go into crowded places. Alam nyo na yun eh, the usual health uh, safety protocol. Sundan na lang natin. And of course, get the vaccine as soon as possible. Speaking of the vaccine, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank yung San Juan LGU, uh, to thank the National Task Force Against COVID, Kasi they really worked hard to get the vaccine to the Philippines and they gave the vaccine uh, to people who need it. Na, kami na misis ko na may comorbidity. So, grabe, nagamit talaga namin. So, I'm very thankful. Maraming salamat to the San Juan LGU uh, and to our National Task Force Against COVID. So, thank you for all the prayers. Uh, thank you for all the well wishes. Thank you sa lahat na nagpadala ng pagkain. Sobra nakatuwa. Nung time na hindi makakain masyado si misis, nagpadala isang friend namin si... Si Bona at si Alec, Alec Saifu, nagpadala sila ng dalawa ng Japanese food na sobrang sarap. Ayun, ginanahan kami kumain ulit pagkatapos doon. So thank you to everybody who sent uh, food. Super appreciate it. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank, uh, well, Johnny and Carla. Um, sila'y nagalaga sa amin. May dalawa kasi kami unit eh. So nakahiwalay kami pero sila'y nagaayos ng food namin. And thank God, hindi sila nawaan throughout this ordeal. So maraming maraming salamat, uh, salamat Johnny at Carla. And maraming salamat din to the admin and the staff of the condo that we live in. Napaka-supportive po nila throughout this ordeal. Napakalaking tulong nila. Seeing as this is an unboxing channel, and matagal na ako din nakapag-unbox para sa inyo, para tapusin ang vlog na to, mag unbox tayo ng, tada, bagong Funko Pop mula Jollibee. <laughs> o, diba? Siyempre, basta masaya, dapat galing Jollibee. Diba? So, ito, buksan natin siya. So, nakuha ko to. This is their Jollibee Soda Funko. So, Nakatuwa siya. Ganito yung packaging niya. Mukha talaga siyang soda can. Oh, di ba? Panalo. So, bubuksan mo siya, tapos ganyan yung itsura niya. Ang cute! Tinan niya, no? So, you can actually get it via the Jollibee delivery app or the Jollibee app. Uh, I think 700-something pesos. Tapos pwede niyo na siya makuha. Um, from September 24 to 26. So, sobrang panalo siya. And by the way, guys, the Jollibee Funkos, from what I saw a couple of days ago, they were vaulted. Ibig sabihin ng na-vault is hindi na siya gagawin ulit. So, tumata, pwedeng tumaas yung value niya. So, if you're a Funko collector, if you're a Jollibee fan, I think this is just one of the... You, you should just keep collecting. Kasi if it keeps on getting vaulted anyway, then you can expect the value to go up over time. Lalo na like several years down the road. No? So, again, you can get this. Check out the Jollibee uh, app as well as the Jollibee Facebook page for details. Ako hindi ko talaga matiis eh, kasi ang cute-cute niya oh. Diba? Kakaiba. Cute-cute ni Jollibee. Tsaka shoutout nga pala to Jollibee dahil nagtayo na sila ng branch sa, sa Spain, sa Madrid. Uh, that's one of the things that I look forward to together with my wife uh, pag pwede na magbiyahe ulit at pumunta sa Spain. Uh, paborito namin city kasi is Barcelona. One of our favorite cities. So, may chance ah, na pwede kinyong makuha yung Chase Edition. Yun yung glow-in-the-dark version uh, nung Jollibee Soda. So, at least may hindi lang siya pare-pareho. Meron kang random chance to get the more expensive limited edition version. Okay, so that's actually it for today's vlog. Hindi ko na masyadong hinabaan kasi gusto ko lang kwento sa inyo kung ano nangyari sa akin. Uh, at ka, paalam sa inyo na okay pa ako kasi ang dami nagme-message, ang dami nagko-comment sa IG, ang dami nagdi-DM asking me how I was. Hoping na buhay pa ako. Yung iba siguro na gets na nagka-COVID ako. Kaya sobrang MIA ako the last few uh, well weeks. no. Um, last also before I go, I just want to thank uh, everybody that I work with who took over my responsibilities while I was out. Uh, from For the company that they work in, for the businesses that I have. Maraming maraming salamat. Kila Pei, kila Mabi, kila Leia, uh, kila John, kila Jamie, uh, kay Sean, kay JC. Um, partner ko si Rob, sila Mike, sila Felix um, Salamat to all of you uh, Who really, you know um, Took the cudgels for the different businesses And the different uh, things that I do While I was out uh, To give me time to recover and to heal So yun, that's actually it for today guys um, I hope to be back vlogging again I don't think kaya ko pa mag daily vlogging uh, Siguro may, maybe in a week Punta muna tayo sa 2 to 3 times uh, But yeah, you can expect to see more content again 
on this channel starting today. So, matagal ko na hindi sila sabi, so nakakatawa. So, maraming salamat. Peace, God bless, what's up, boom.